Uh, Kate. So I, I have some comments as well. Sure. And they actually echo what Councilmember McCullough just said about slowing down and recognizing that this legislation at the state level exists for a reason. And for me, I, I mean, I appreciate a lot of the emails that we got, and it really highlighted that there, that, that there are two issues the way that I see it. Um, in terms of San Rafael, if we're lifting the cap, we're getting up in the high regions in terms of our sales tax. I don't have enough information as to know the impact on our community. Some of the emails suggested there might be an impact to our businesses, or our economy, or to maybe underserved populations or to um, population, low-income populations. I don't have enough information on that. I would want to know that because when I look at that graph of where we all are in Marin County, we're at the high end. So that to me, it's combined with this issue, but it's separate. So I, I feel that homework needs to be done on our end. Um, I'd want to know how we compare to other cities in California, and I'm, I'm sorry that we don't have that information too because that to me is linked. I also agree with Councilman McCullough. Transportation needs are real. And how to fund them is huge. All we have to do is drive down and see the, the potholes on, on 4th Street. But I also think that's a separate conversation from the sales tax. And I also would want more work on defining um, all the projects that need to be done. And, and I did want to say that I was grateful to the voters that supported Measure E. And we had an increase that was for a central facility here in San Rafael. And um, we were really thrilled that that passed. And, and we really thought a lot about that. And, and I'm glad that our residents saw that that was viable. So I would propose that we also slow down, and I love the idea of the Expenditure Plan Advisory Committee, and maybe that gets formed now, and they start to look at the current ongoing programs, right? So you're talking about a much broader group, and, and I respect all the work that TAM does. It's well represented across the community in terms of electeds. I like that idea of having kind of broad input into that. Maybe they help the TAM board look at are all these ongoing programs continuing funded at the same levels or not? Because I absolutely agree those are difficult uh, conversations to have. But recognizing that you know our neighbors to the north, they switched it in terms of capital and programs. I'd be curious as to know why. So those are the comments that I have.